Hey everyone, welcome back and happy, well, Friday? Yeah, Friday. Oh my God. I was trying to get my, I, I'm trying to get my days in order, honestly, because I don't know what's going on this weekend. Jason and I are going out of town. I was like, is it Thursday or is it Saturday? Am I leaving tomorrow or the day after the day after? So just trying to get my days in order. But anyways, today, right after this, we have an amazing Hot Messy Topics Live with Talk of Shame, Kiki Monique, and it's going to be a good one. So I'm going to pin the link in the comment section, and also um, I hope to see you guys there. And if you can't make it at 12 p.m. Eastern, which is 9 a.m. Pacific, then definitely be a part of the replay crew. With that, I say let's talk about the fact that Tom Sandoval's on an apology tour after he realized that he f***ed up. Here we go. Oh, Tom Sandoval. So you guys know, I've talked to you a little bit about it. Uh, Tom Sandoval going on this um, just, I mean, it was wildly stupid. He posted pretty much saying that it was not him suing Ariana and that he was advised to do something. So just to give you the backstory really quick. Tom Sandoval named Ariana Maddox in a lawsuit, and he said that she accessed the videos of Raquel, Rachel Levis, on his phone without authorization or permission. So this was his attorney's way, Matthew Garagos, his attorney's way of holding all parties accountable in case, because in a lawsuit, when you're suing somebody, you have to have everybody in case somebody says, it wasn't me, it was that person. They have to be named in the lawsuit so it doesn't just go into the universe and nobody is held accountable. But this was a bad career move for him. Let's just go back really quick. So, I mean, this really is just like the shit that doesn't stop. Thank you to Radar Online. Sandoval court twist. Tom Sandoval wants to scrap the lawsuit against Ariana Maddox and says that he fired his attorney and holds no ill will towards his ex. Tom Sandoval fired one of his attorneys and wants to drop his new lawsuit against his ex, Ariana Maddox, after learning what this action actually means. RadarOnline.com told you earlier this week that Sandoval filed a complaint accusing Ariana of breaking into his phone to access the explicit videos of Rachel Levis that led to the former couple's infamous split on Vanderpump Rules. He alleged that his co-star sent copies of the videos to Raquel and third parties without his authorization or permission. But in his Instagram post on Thursday, July 18th, just yesterday, he wasn't fully aware of the nature of the filing and that his attorney, Mark Garagos, urged him to agree to it. He said that Garagos assured him that the action was customary and strictly preventative as he and Ariana fight the revenge porn lawsuit filed back in February. What he wrote was, Late Tuesday afternoon, my attorney, Matt Garagos, whose advice I trusted, called me about the cross-complaint in the lawsuit against myself and Ariana. He assured me that the action was customary and strictly preventative in these types of lawsuits and urged me to agree to it. The words new lawsuit or suing were not articulated to me. I should have done more of my due diligence on the matter, but upon realizing what this action actually means, I have removed Matt Garagos from my legal team. In no way am I suing Ariana. The action against Ariana brought on my behalf is being removed. I hold no ill will or vindictiveness towards Ariana. Now, by removing both the cross complaint and the attorney who recommended it, I hope to get through this case quickly so that Ariana and I can both finally move on with our lives. I mean, listen, smart. Obviously, you guys know that the legal drama stems from the explosive moment where she discovered that Sandoval was cheating on her with Raquel. And she said that she had no knowledge of the seven-month affair until she found it on her phone. Now, Raquel's lawsuit accused Sandoval of recording the intimate FaceTime conversations, showing her in a state of undress and masturbating without her knowledge and consent, and alleged that Ariana distributed them or showed them to others. Yeah, well, this seems like this is going to be a continued uphill battle. Um, but I, I'm kind of, it's like, 
are you playing stupid or are you like, are you playing dumb or are you actually dumb? He's saying that he trusted his attorney, which sometimes, guys, we trust people that we put in place, um, especially because they're the professionals. And that could easily be the case where the attorney said, listen, this is customary. This is what we do. And he might have been like, you know what? If that's what we do, then OK, let's do it. But then once he saw the backlash, he was like, I cannot do this again. Not my mental health. This is not for me. And maybe Matt Garagos either A, did not understand the full weight that this lawsuit against Ariana would carry, especially for Tom Sandoval, or maybe he just didn't care. I'm not sure. But it is Tom Sandoval who's feeling it because Tom Sandoval was the one who had to deactivate his social media accounts. But wait, it keeps going. Now, Tom Sandoval, again, there's a video. Hold on. Let me just play the video. He's getting a lot of shit for this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thank you to Bravo Buds. What? You keep currently living at the house. From New Jersey. All right. Loved up. I thought she had that. She do does have dark, dark hair. hair. I'm having a wig on. She has a wig on. Sometimes we... Role play? Yes. We do weird things like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't like that light. I don't like light. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Brittany. When were you Lay. filming Traders? Last Lay. month. He answered me cool. What's up? He answered me cool. I'll be an assistant. <laughs> yeah, I'll be at the show. What's up, Florida? Yeah, she is beautiful. Honestly, what the like, fuck is happening? One of the most beautiful people I've ever seen. Hey, Johnny joined? What? Wait, hey, Johnny. I see her. I see you, Kay Johnny. I just waved at you. I see you. Cage is actually here in the building. She's in the building. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. oh God. Oh, got it. Jesus. She's over here somewhere. This house is insane, by the way. Thank you. Doesn't Victoria stop there. Good. Hold on. Keeps going. Do I have tattoos? No, we're live right now. <laughs> that was Tom's tattoo. These are my friends. This is Scott. That's KJ. It's KJ. With the M Ms. Look at her and them M names. Hi guys. Yeah. Tom, do you have new tattoos? Yeah, I do. I have one right here. But put it right side up. Hold on. Wait, I'll do it like this. No. <laughs> I like how somebody said this like looks good on you. Um, guys, this looks like a shit show. And Victoria was super sweet to me. And that doesn't mean that I can't just say what I want. Honestly, I'm getting so sick of not saying what the fuck I want. Like, I, I'm going to say what I want. I, th I think it looks sweet. I think this video was a stupid thing to do. I think that they're constantly making stupid decisions, at least Tom Sandoval, just like trusting your, your business partner or your l lawyer or whoever and letting them make decisions for you without having the final say and fully understanding what those decisions mean but guys pop off in the comment section smash that like button if you're not subscribed get subscribed don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time love you guys